tens of thousands of people have moved to Idaho over the past couple of years, but you really should not move to Idaho if you can't handle these negatives that I'm gonna cover in this video. In fact, Idaho has actually grown in population by 90,000 people over the last two years, and that's on a population of under 2 million people, and by comparison's sake, California has lost 500,000 people during that same time frame. So if you're concerned about the growing population, growing traffic, that kind of thing, we're gonna be covering those kinds of negatives in this video. However, at the end of the video, we're gonna cover all the pros and why people are moving here. So if you can get through the negatives, then we're gonna to get to the sweet part of why people are moving to Idaho and maybe why you wanna make a move here this year. Well, it's no secret that Idaho has certainly been discovered. In fact, Idaho has been growing in population every single year since 1988. And as I mentioned in the beginning, by comparison, say California has actually lost population over the past couple of years. And I would expect that trend to continue given the types of politics and the outworkings of those politics and policies that's actually occurring in California. I myself moved from California, so I know exactly what you're going through. If you're thinking about making the move here to beautiful Idaho, a lot of people have asked me, why did you move? What was the big reason that you moved to Idaho and left California? And I always say it was never one thing in particular. It was a combination of a lot of small things that added up to finally me deciding with my wife, it's time for us to leave California. We did look at a number of different states, including Texas, Tennessee, Florida, and we ultimately landed on Idaho. We ultimately wanted to stay in the West. We actually like the drier climate out here rather than the humidity and the more intense weather that you get in places like Texas, Tennessee, and all the humidity and hurricanes you get out in Florida. You don't really have any natural disasters here in Idaho. You do get fire, you get smoke from the fires that come in. However, there's no natural disaster here. There's no tornadoes, there's no earthquakes, that kind of thing. But that being said, all these little things, especially over the past couple years of all the COVID policies that went into place during the last couple years of the lockdowns. Cal San Diego was one of the worst in terms of locking down. So if you were being in California, you know exactly what that experience like. It wasn't as bad as San Francisco, but certainly up there. So we had just been completely fed up with all these different things, all the severe homelessness, the rising inaffordability of San Diego. You know, we were at a stage in our life where we needed a much larger home for our family. We wanted a high quality of life for our children to raise our family here. And ultimately Idaho was the place for us. And so th those were some of the reasons why we made the move here. But as I mentioned, Idaho is growing rapidly. So if you're worried about the population growing rapidly here in the state, it is currently growing. And that's because of the freedom that you have here, the politics, and the quality of life and affordability. But if you're worried about the growing population, then it might be a reason to stay away. And with the growing population comes growing traffic. Now, depending on where you are and the time of day, the traffic can be quite bad, especially on I-84. It can back up as you're coming in from Caldwell and Nampa into the city or on the surface streets because these are originally two-lane country roads. Now, some of the roads have been widened to four lanes and some are currently being widened. That helps. However, the roads can really get backed up. There's some folks that just won't go out during rush hour traffic if they can avoid it. I personally try to avoid the rush hour traffic. So if you're working remote, you're retired, you can really plan your days around that so that you can avoid rush hour traffic. However, if you do have a seven to three job, nine to five job, and you're, you, you probably can get stuck in traffic, so you have to be aware of that. So if that's something you're not comfortable with, then that is a concern that might keep you from moving here to Idaho. Now, affordability of Idaho is certainly far less than it was a couple years ago. A lot of people still think they can move to Idaho and for a couple hundred thousand dollars, pick up five acres of land out in the country with a huge barn storage for their RV and other toys. You can still purchase those, of course, but they're not a couple hundred thousand dollars. They're likely gonna be more in the million plus dollar range, especially if you're getting into some areas like Star, into the foothills, they're gonna be a lot more into the couple million dollar range. And the tract homes themselves here, you're gonna find are kind of built like how Californians are used to them, very close together, smaller backyards. That being said, you're still gonna find, generally speaking, larger backyards than you would ever find in California and definitely larger homes. You will be shocked at how large the homes are here and oftentimes how large the backyards are. However, you're going to find that oftentimes the homes are placed really close together. They're gonna to be placed back to back. However, if that is a concern for you, you still wanna move into an affordable area, then you probably wanna buy a home that's going to be backing up to a green space or a canal. Now let's cover some other cons. So it does get cold here in Idaho. If someone tells you it doesn't get that cold, they're lying to you. If you're from California, it's gonna feel cold. It will get into the single digits, not really below zero, but it's certainly 
certainly will be in single digits. It will be in the 20s during the day, during the coldest months of the winter. And that can drag on for a couple weeks. And we get something called an inversion where basically the cold air gets locked in, the clouds get locked in, and that can drag on for a week or two at a time. However, we do get 300 days of sunshine here. So you will see the sun, but you may be spending more time indoors if you're used to a warmer climate like Southern California or really anywhere in California. It also can get really hot here during the summer. In fact, last summer there was 27 straight days over 100 degrees. Now that was abnormal, but it can happen. It can get hot. We are high desert up here in the Boise Treasure Valley area, but the summer does last for not nearly as long as it does in California. Now, something you might come across is that Idahoans hate Californians. You're going to hear that a lot. Don't California my Idaho. Now you are going to run across people that do not like Californians. They do not appreciate Californians moving here and ruining their way of life and bringing the traffic and bringing the politics with them. However, as I'll cover a bit more, that's actually not 100% true and because most of the people that are moving here really want to fit in with the way of life here it is becoming more like California in that sense of there are more people here but the politics is not going that direction I've actually found that a lot of people are really friendly to me. I've never actually met anyone that's been upset that I'm from California. Everyone is super, super friendly that I have come across. There are probably parts of Idaho and there are people that you will find that aren't happy that Californians are here. I just haven't found it to be that big of a problem. Let's cover some reasons why people are moving here to Idaho. And number one was certainly gonna be affordability. Now, of course, it's not as affordable as it used to be as I covered in the beginning of this video. However, it's still gonna be significantly more affordable than what you're ever gonna be able to find for the the same price points in California. So for significantly less money, you can get way larger house, of course, here in Idaho. But the big thing why people are moving here is freedom. There is just so much more freedom that you're gonna find moving here to Idaho. So much less restrictions on you. If, you're, if you love guns, you, just, you can walk in and buy a gun if you're a resident and walk out. There's no waiting period, etc. And no one's gonna look at you weird for owning a gun. You can, you can open carry, you can conceal carry here. And that being said, it's so, so safe here in Idaho. Idaho compared to other states. The crime is so low. Home invasions are so, like just, they just don't really happen here. Like, I mean, yeah, it can happen. However, most likely that person is going to be armed. So why would you risk your life robbing someone's house? So homelessness is just not a problem here at all. If you're used to that, you just, you just really won't see it here at all here in Idaho. And of course, lower taxes. It is significantly lower taxes here in Idaho compared to places like California, basically half the tax rate. Your property taxes are also gonna be lower as well because the homes are less. And it's just really a slower pace of life here in Idaho. I absolutely love it for that. I love cruising around the country roads and taking those country roads instead of the freeway. I really like to just take a slower pace of life here and I absolutely love it. My kids love it. My wife loves it. People ask like, would you ever leave? It's like, well, I, don't, I can't say I'd never leave, but I have no intention of leaving. I actually love, really, really love Idaho. And we really love the access to the outdoors that you're gonna find here in Idaho. And that's a big reason why we chose Idaho over some other states is because there is great access to outdoors just 40 minutes to an hour away, you're gonna be in the foothills and into the mountains that really look like the Sierra Nevadas that I grew up going to in California. So if you are looking to make the move here and you can handle those negatives that I told you about, just be prepared for those before you come out. And if you are looking to make the move, my team and I specialize in helping people relocate here to Idaho. I myself moved from California and I know what it's like and my team and I specialize in helping you make the smooth move to Idaho. So all you got to do is reach out via phone, text, or email. We'll jump on a Zoom call whether you're nine days, 90 days, or two years out. We'll have that conversation. I literally have meet with people that are two years out for moving here. I also meet with people that are ready to buy right now. So I love working with people. I help people all the time just like you and you and you and you. I absolutely love it. So reach out and if you are looking to make the move here to Idaho and you want to know the best area to live in Idaho, I cover all that in this video right here. Take a look at that and I'll see you on the next video.